Hi guys, I'm gonna make a help video to help you put together your STL files for 3D printing. Share my screen. I'm logged into the Wii computer lab, I have MATLAB open, and I also have Moodle open. Over on Moodle, there are files up in the project folder called surf to solid and STL right. Um, you're going to need to take these files and get them into your working MATLAB directory. Um, I have already done that. You can see here they are over in my working MATLAB directory, STL right and surf to solid. If you haven't done that yet, it's a little difficult to download off Moodle. And so a really straightforward way to do that would be to hit the new button, make a new function like this, then go over to, for example, surf the solid here, select everything, copy, <clears throat> over to MATLAB, replace everything that's currently in that function with this. This resulting code here, This is the code for surf to solid. So then we can save as surf to solid. I'll hit save. Now it already exists on my computer, so I'm just overwriting it. But when you do that, then it'll be over there in your working directory. We'll do that same thing with STL right. Then you'll have those two functions available to you. Okay, going back. To the MATLAB window. I'm going to make some modifications based on updates to what's available um, on the Wii computers for MATLAB. I'm going to show you how to graph z equals the sine of x times y. Here's how we'll do it. First, I'm going to type in x comma y in brackets equals Grid. <clears throat> I'm going to choose to make a box that goes from negative pi to pi in both directions. And I'll do that this way negative 3.14 colon 0 0.1 colon 3.14. <clears throat> Comma. And then the same bounds. This lets x go from negative pi to pi in increments of 0 0.1. And it does the same thing for y. There we go. Next, I'm going to define my function z. z equals the sine of, and then I want to say x times y. Because capital X and capital Y are actually vectors of values, I'm going to write period times Now z is defined as a list of values that are the that are the sine of x times y for each possible value of x and each possible value of y. What you're looking at here on the screen are actually various z values at various places in the xy grid. The analogy to what we've been doing in Calc 3 is that x and y together define the region R down in the xy plane. And then here, these numbers are the heights of the function up above that. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive, because this is a trig function. <clears throat> Next, we want to make a surface. So in the old sample code, we did something like this. Um, let's try. So I'm going to go over here and I'm still gonna do the time honored, time honored programming tradition of stealing code. I'm gonna try running this. Oh, right. There we go. Hey, there it is. Neat. So that's the surface, and that looks like totally like what I want. 
Um, now I'm going to go back and set some surface S to be equal to that. Finally, <clears throat> I need to run the STL write code. This is going to make an STL file. File, let's call it this time, let's call it, I'll just call it a sample file. You can call it whatever you want. Now, over there on the left, you can see it's made a new STL file called sample file. And if I double click on sample file, it'll look like garbage. But if instead I show an explorer 